Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles at New England Motorcycle Museum, and this is a hot rod Honda muscle cruiser, the BTX 1300. This is the one with the BTX R with the balanced fenders, huge tires, and it's been mildly customized with a brand new set just installed by us, Vance, uh, excuse me, Cobra Dragster exhaust system with a Cobra DinoJet Stage 1 carburetor jetting and uh, airbox kit. So it opens up the uh, uh, carburetor and airbox. These things come corked up from the factory. They sound like a vacuum cleaner stock to meet EPA standards. And this Stage 1 high performance kit really makes this thing a fire breathing dragon. A couple other nice additions. We put the brand new Curry Aiken highway pegs on here. Gives you another spot to put your feet in the long haul. And look at the tires on this bad boy. Brand spanking new Metzler top of the line ME888 Marathons. It's a $500 set of tires. 488 bucks just for the tires. And then mounting and balancing. We're looking at over $600 for the tires. And the exhaust in the box is $615. So, um, stage one kit. Uh, we did quite a lot to this bike when we got it. It's an uh, all original bike with 7,100 miles. In the Northeast, it's pretty common for us to find very low mile clean bikes like this. Again, 7,100 original miles. Traditional Honda quality. Everything works beautifully. The turn signals, uh, brake lights, all electrical uh, options work perfectly as expected, including the electric start. Wow. carburetor were installed in tune by Mark Olson, our pro Honda mechanic here, who was a full-time Honda mechanic for 11 years, fully certified, and it's done right. Um, the brakes have been fully serviced. All the fluids in the bike have been changed not once, but twice. We changed the oil when we first got it. We rode it a little while, changed it again, put the brand new uh, oil and filter in there. Um, all the fluids have been brushed. The brakes have been uh, lead front and rear. Just a fantastic bike, and it just sounds what a rocket ship. Let me take, give you a quick demo on it, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Again, these tires have less than five miles on them. It also has the backrest to keep your girl from flying off the back, or your guy from flying off the back if you're a chick. So, that's it. I'm good about these metric cruisers. Well, I'll tell you, ridden one of these metric cruisers, I just can't understand how good they are. The shallow suspension, the uh, Nissan brakes, um, it's just a big oversized tank with a windshield so you can ride. This is a bike you can get on, ride it for a not ever have a problem. Just, just a, or right to California, fly to Bradley Airport, come here, pick this up, and take off. CCs of Honda V-Twin Power Cruiser makes a unique sound that uh, is second to none in my opinion. So you're not going to be outclassed by any other power cruisers uh, at the street or on the strip. So um, just a beautiful bike. Hop on, Kenny. We'll bring it aside and go over the paperwork on it uh, and the work order. One of the things we did, this is a very low mile bike. And uh, in New England, they sit for a long time, usually six months every year. That's one of the reasons we changed the oil twice on it to make sure it was crystal clear. And also the gas tank. <laughs> when we got this bike, we took the gas tank off of it and flushed it out with Metal Rescue and then rinsed it out so the gas tank's perfectly clean. The fuel lines, the entire fuel system has been completely gone through, so it's like brand new. My favorite part about this bike is the exhaust zone. I mean, to ride one with a stock exhaust is kind of like a crime in my opinion.
was such a unique sound. Uh, Power Cruiser V Twin. Absolutely love it. You know, again, this is a VTX R. This came standard with the uh, high end mad wheels, front and rear, the slotted bags, the balanced front fender. Check out the headlight on this. It's got a nice balance on the front of the fender. Uh, real sporty turn signals. This is a Power Cruiser. It's a liquid cooled. Most uh, V Twins are air cooled. This, this, this liquid cooled engine allows it to run uh, tighter tolerances. If we did a compression test. Everything's perfect on the bike. Mechanically, again, 7,000 original miles. Look at the nubs on the tire. To get a close up right here, Kenny, if you could. Still, it's got literally just what I went up and down the street in these brand new Metzlers. So, um, you buy one of these used, you need a set of tires, you buy the Metzlers, you have to drop in uh, two hours labor, uh, usually about $200 in labor, and $500, you can drop $700 in tires. So, this one's done. And it has a brand new battery. Um, let me grab the work order on it. I also have the. Uh, Original Honda owner's manual right here, um, along with the title to the bike. So good clean title, you won't have any problems registering it in your state. That'll come with a, a bill of sale from us or a license, can't get dealer. And I also have work over here for over some of the things that I may have missed. Um, again, I went through the detail shop for a complete detail. Uh, top to bottom, front to back, it was polished, waxed, and clean. Uh, and given a nice bath. The rims were, were polished. A uh, little bit of patina on the rims, uh, or bare aluminum rims, so we did the best with those. They came out pretty nice. Um, the, uh, so I had eight hours in the detail shop and a total of 10 hours in the service department installing the, all the, the new parts. Brand new Yuasa battery, brand new NGK spark plugs, has a brand new high fill air filter element, brand new K&L carb bolt, uh, bolt O-rings, brand new spin-on oil filter, Brand new crush washer and for the oil drain bolt, which is something most people miss. Uh, again, twice the oil was changed with 2850 motor oil, so it's perfectly like a brand new motor. Uh, brand new high point Amsoil gear oil in the shaft drive. Uh, an o a new OEM ceiling washer on the um, neutral switch and a brand new neutral switch. Uh, brand new OEM master cylinder cap. Um, Cobra exhaust system, brand new right out of the box. Actually, the master cylinder cap was a was a, uh, a used one off of another bike. The original one uh, had a slight leak in it, so that was replaced. Um, brand new Cobra Stage 1 Dino Jet Kit, brand new Curry Aiken Offset Highway Pegs, and the Metzler, top of line Metzler 170 80 massive rear tire. Take a look at how big this rear tire is on this thing. Most Harley Davidsons have a 150 on them. This is a 170. It's true power cruiser status, massive rear fender, uh, big comfy seat. Um, Again, the uh, cylinder compression test, perfect, 150 PSI, um, and we did everything that we said we did. In addition to that, we cleaned the throttle pipe on the handlebar here, dismantled this whole setup here, cleaned the throttle pipe and moved it, uh, cleaned the air box out, replaced the air filter, uh, lubricated the throttle cables, um, and all the fluids, again, were changed. So, I think I pretty much went, went over everything. If I missed anything, it'll be in the write-up. Take a look at the pictures. You'll see she's a beauty. Um, traditional Honda quality, it's a late model 2005, so it's, uh, think about it, you buy a new one for, and you do all these extras on it, you're going to have close to $15,000 into it, and by the time you, um, you know, deal with the depreciation the first year, and the taxes, and the insurance, and the, and the property taxes, you're going to easily, you're going to easily uh, lose three to $5,000 on a new bike as soon as you roll out the door. Uh, in the first year of appreciation. So uh, the work order, we have a total of 18 hours of labor at $90 an hour for $1,620. In between the exhaust, the dyno jet kit, the stage one kit, the Metzler tires, the highway pegs, and all the other options on the bike, there's a total of $1,550 in new parts um, and $1,620 in labor plus shipping and uh, tax and total came to $3,552 for the Parts, labor, and service. Again, it's 1515 parts, 1620 labor, plus tax. So, um, 3340 plus tax is $3,500. A lot of people, you know, you buy one of these used, it's going to need tires. The pipes are going to have issues over the stock pipe. Uh, it's not going to have the stage one kit. It's not going to have a new battery. Won't be tuned properly. Yeah, this is tuned to perfection. Uh, might add, when I, I, I purposely downshifted and let it blah, like rev down off the throttle because usually when you don't put a dyno jet kit, the pop, they go pop, 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 pop. They sound like shit. And uh, this this thing, it, it decelerates beautifully. It makes a beautiful tone on a deceleration with no popping, no backfiring. 
the true hallmark of a perfectly tuned engine, which is what you have here. A perfectly tuned, 100% perfect motor with very low miles and 7,000 original miles. Uh, cosmetically, uh, it's a 2005. It's, I, I'd say it's in uh, good to excellent condition or, or excellent to perfect condition. The only issues I noted are on this side of the tank right here. Uh, the paint is beautiful everywhere on the tank. There's a small, uh, about two inch ding below the tank right here. I think a rake fell on it in the garage is what he said, or something like that, I don't know exactly, but um, there's a little little crease right there, which if we didn't mention it, you probably wouldn't even pick it up, but it's there, I want you to know. Uh, a local body shop that we deal with could fix that dent. Um, I'm sure one could do it for you, about $200 to fix the dent or leave it in there, it's a beauty mark. Um, also want to note that the chrome on the rear shock here, there's a little bit of patina, a little bit of pitting here. Oh, hey, so. can you put the saddlebags on? I almost forgot. Um, there is a little patina on the shocks, and that's because this bike has saddlebags that cover the shocks, and uh, I think that contributed to, to the patina. These are a quick release. Uh, Jeremy said he timed himself. He can put them on and take them off in 15 seconds. So uh, they're a nice oversized bag. Gives you plenty of, plenty of uh, storage space. We also have a, um, a uh, if an optional bag that goes around here, a big leather one with studs in it, that that's an additional, it doesn't come with this bike, but if you want it, we have them in stock for about 150 bucks. Uh, and it attaches to the back here, so it makes it almost like a full dresser. So uh, just a couple seconds to bolt these saddle bags on. And uh, if you're going for a long haul, you can actually uh, zip tie these to the, the um, mount right here so it doesn't flex at all. Uh, oh, we also added a battery tender lead. See this right here? So you can plug it into the wall if you're not going to use it for a couple months or for the winter, you plug it in and uh, forget about it. In the spring, the battery is perfectly charged, so that's a nice option. I probably left a couple things out, but you get the idea. It's been thoroughly tuned in detail by the best in the business. It runs perfectly. It's got low miles, and it's a Honda. Honda's top of the line, 1300 power cruiser for 2005. Jeremy, Ken, is there anything you'd like to add? Or? No, all the paperwork's in order. Give us a call if you have any questions at 860-454-7024. Ask us to speak with Ken Jr. Let me tell you anything you need to know about the bike. We're having an event August 25th, Cafe Fever, big cafe show, antique cafe bikes, as well as the opening of the museum. Grand opening so, of the Motorcycle Museum in four weeks from tomorrow, after six years of toiling, blood, sweat, and tears to restore this 200-year-old factory that you see behind here. It's a football field long. We're still looking for, for uh, volunteers for that event. I think we have a little over 25 now, We're, we need 60, so. Every, every Wednesday night for the next three Wednesdays if you want to get involved. If you buy this bike, you'll get free admission to the show. Fly into Bradley, go to the event. We're gonna have bands, a bike show, uh, a mini bike throwdown. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome event here at 200 West Main Street, Rockwell County. Buy this bike, come to the event, and ride it home. I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't hesitate to ride this to California tomorrow, uh, and, and it, it needs nothing. It's just ready to go, so. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Um, buy this bike with confidence. It's been thoroughly tested by the best in the business. So good luck.